my name is Adrian, and I'd like to teach you how to properly take care of your hermit crabs. So the first thing you should know about hermit crabs is the pet store will sometimes have a checklist about the things that you need, but that does not have everything that they need on there. They need to have a lot of specific things. First thing is that hermit crabs are very social creatures, so you should always have hermit crabs in two or more. And because they molt, you're going to need at least two cages if you're a beginner hermit crab owner. So I have two terrariums. They should be at least 10 gallons. And they should have a metal lid, a metal grate lid, a terrarium lid, because they're both going to need heat lamps. For the bedding of the hermit crabs, they should have a mix of sand and like coconut substrate. And it needs to be at least three inches, preferably up to six, because they need to be able to bury deep down to molt. For my 10 gallon, I have maybe at least four inches of both. It took me probably two bags of sand and at least a bag and a half of coconut substrate. Like I said, when it comes to heating, some places will advertise hermit crab heat pads that can go underneath or on the side, but those do not provide enough heat for your hermit crab. They should have a dome light that sits on top of their terrarium lid, and that will provide them enough warmth to survive. Hermit crabs are very tropical creatures, so they need to have a lot of humidity. One thing you can do to add humidity to a tank is have a spray bottle. This one's a little small. A larger spray bottle would work a lot better and you'd have to spray less. Or a really good way is also to wet the sand inside their house so when the light hits it, it evaporates and creates humidity. Avoid wetting your coconut substrate too much because it can mold and it will have to be replaced. Next is their bowls. So they need at least two water bowls and one food bowl in each of the tanks. Two water bowls because they need fresh water and they also need salt water. And having at least one bowl for food helps prevent their substrate and their sand from getting dirty. Because they need salt water and fresh water and they have semi-aquatic lungs so they breathe in the humidity your spray bottle and your fresh water need to have hermit crab fresh water conditioner in it to take the chlorine out because it's poisonous to crabs. So everything you wet your sand with, you spray in your spray bottle, and their fresh water needs to have this in it. Pet stores will usually have like a small water bottle of already mixed solution but because of their heat lamp, it'll evaporate very frequently. So being able to have a bottle that you mix a couple drops of this with some water goes a lot longer, especially if you're having to replace their water every day and constantly wet their substrate. Same thing for their salt water. Instead of buying the little bottle that you can get at the pet store, you're gonna want some of the salt water conditioner concentrate. So you mix it with a little bit of water like it says on the back, and put it in their salt water. Even when you rinse their bowls out, you're gonna wanna use chlorinated water. And when you wash their hermit crab shells, when you get the new ones to size up, you're gonna need to boil them in dechlorinated water as well. Next is their food. I have some hermit crab food medley. This has dried up shrimps in it, dried up mealworms, and also some pellets. When you get food like this, you always need to crush it unless you have jumbo sized hermit crabs. Their large eating claw cannot grab onto these. So I usually pour a little bit. Sorry, he eats these, he thinks they're tasty. I pour a little bit into the cap and I use their little spray bottle and I would just crush it up till it's like a powder and I would pour it in. I give them a little bit of pellets, like half pellets, half powder, just in case they want both. But this is not all they need to eat. Hermit crabs need to have a very diverse diet. 
So you also need to be able to give them fruits and vegetables like carrots, lettuce. Some of the fruits they have can be like papayas, like non-citrus fruits. They also need calcium. So you can buy powdered calcium in the hermit crab section at Petco. But there's also other ways that hermit crabs can get their calcium. I, right here, have two eggshells right here. The hermit crabs will eat those eggshells. I just broke the eggshell in half as best as I could and rinsed out the inside and let it dry overnight. And hermit crabs are supposed to love those. I might grind one up into a powder and see if they like it that way as well. But they need calcium as an important spot in their diet. So next we talk about hermit crab shells. A lot of hermit crabs in the pet store will come with painted shells on them with like little clowns or soccer balls. But those are toxic to crabs. Even buying replacement shells for them to molt into, you do not want to get any painted ones. I have a painted shell in each house right now only because for emergencies I went to every pet store in town and couldn't find a non-painted shell in their size and one of them is currently molting so I did order some online that should be in here a few days but just for emergencies I needed them to have any shell that I could get. And when getting new hermit crab shells you need to be aware of mites. If your hermit crab gets mites, it's really bad for the hermit crab's house, the health. And you also have to replace everything in the hermit crab's house. All of the substrate, you have to sanitize everything in there so it's not good. So the easiest way to prevent that is when you're introducing new shells. You boil them in dechlorinated fresh water for five minutes and let them cool down. So that will kill anything that's bad in there for the crab. And once it's cool, you can put them in there. When you measure your hermit crab for what shell they need, the opening of the shell is the most important part. You're going to want to measure from side to side. And their large claw should be across the opening like this. So you're going to want to buy them maybe one or two that's their exact size just in case they want to switch around but also go up an eighth of an inch to a fourth of an inch and when they molt or sometimes when they just feel like it they'll be able to slightly size up shells and it'll make them way more comfortable but make sure you have at least three or four per hermit crab for them to size up into because they can get in fights and pull each other out of shells if there's not enough selection and do not get painted hermit crab shells. Next up is their sponges. Even though hermit crabs breathe the humidity in their air, they can drown, they do not breathe water. So in all of the hermit crab dishes, you need to have a pretty large sponge in there. So if they go into the hermit crab bowl, that they have something to hold on to so that they won't drown in both their salt water and their fresh water. Hermit crabs love to climb in the wild, they're natural climbers. So in this larger tank, I have a coconut kind of substrate wall that they can climb up if they want. They aren't liking it too much, so I might try some of the branches that they make for hermit crabs and see if they like that better. Also, hermit crabs need to have a place to hide inside their house because when they molt, they need darkness for the process to occur. So if you have like a coconut hut or kind of like a reptile hut that isn't sharp that they can climb into, that'll really help them when it comes to molting. Okay, this is one of the most important parts about having a healthy hermit crab is their molting. So when a hermit crab molts, it will dig a hole inside of its house and bury itself. So you won't be able to see it. And for about a medium-sized hermit crab, it takes about four to six weeks for them to finish molting. And molting is where their skin falls off and their softer skin starts to get hard so that they can grow because their exoskeleton is on the outside. And when they're molting and they start to get soft, they smell really tasty to the other hermit crabs. And the other hermit crabs can attack them and eat them. So you need to separate them. But because they get so soft and they're so fragile, if you scoop up the molting hermit crab, it can fall apart in your hands. So for me, I first had them in this smaller tank. 
and he started molting and you move the healthy hermit crab that is not molting into the separate cage so that he will not eat the molting hermit crab. And when he's done molting, if this one is not, they will both go into the larger tank to be together because they are very social animals. Now you know the basics of taking care of hermit crabs. Thank you for watching my video.